All right, so we gonna look at our right, list and use it implement application operate list to create a stack. And we call a class name my stack. Now stack, we know the concept of stack again. Uh, you push something in into the stack, and then we keep popping it out. Right, stack like stack our book. Right, so we have a bucket, and then we push something into bucket. Right, bucket could be number one, number two, and keep doing that. So now number three is pretty much when I do peak, I'm gonna get three because that's at the top. When I do pop, it's gonna pop out number three by removing number three out. And only two left if I do pop. Right? When I do peak here, it's gonna get two. If I push something like push number four in, now four is at the top instead, right? So that's the operation of stack and push, peak, pop, search. We can search to see if it contains three, it should return the position of the first element I is the stack from the top. That matches. Like now, it should return minus one or something that's no longer in the list. But if I do four, it's going to return the position of the first element in stack. Or the top, which is your first here. Or it could be index zero. And this is the code how to implement that using array list. Create the list, is empty, pretty much just use the method is empty. Get size, just use the method size. Pick, that means you get the size minus one. Because when you add, you always add. If you look at when you push, this is the list array, right? You can pretty much just push one into index zero two index so that means the top of the stack is right here at the end which is index two right so like if I rewrite this into a stack you can see that so that means when I peak I should get the size which is three minus one index two peak returns five out if I pop same, I'm going to remove the size minus 1 and do dot remove. Peak, we don't remove. Push, push just add, add at the end. So it's keep adding that in. And two strings just return the print out all the list. Which, you see that using array list can implement stack very simple and easy. Let's run the program and see. Oh, this is just no test, so it's just a stack. All right, so now come back to protected modifiers. So now we have learned the inheritance, right? Inheritance concept, we know that we have private, public, right? and protect it as the modifiers. And this is a symbol for you, the email diagram, minus plus and hashtag. Now let's talk about, we set an access to protect it, right? Access or visibility. Protected modifiers can be applied on data and method in the class. It could be the attributes or the methods. A protected data or a protected method in a public class can be accessed by any class in the same package or its subclasses. Like I said, right? If it's protected, you can access the attributes of the. Like, if one of the attributes of the parents is protected, like by chains sounds to be protected. 
so the subclass can access to sound. Okay. But not like car class cannot access to sounds. That really makes sense because animals, sounds, I don't want it to be public. If it's public, it's access, car can access to that, right? But again, for attributes, we say we like to make it as encapsulation, meaning that we like to make it private. So that means get sound, we can just make it protected as the method level, right? Since it's sound. So that means get sound says sound no longer valid to car. Right, so sometimes we want to put that that for just our subclasses to access. Like dog and fish can access to get sounds and sound but not car. So that I say can be access in the in its subclasses and in the same package, right? Or in the same package. Now also very importantly, like dog and fish has to be in the same package as animal. If dog and fish happen to be in different package, like in the package car, then dog cannot get access to set sound, get sound anymore. So let's look at what's package. Remember when you create a class, you can always define a package name. As long as if I have dog and cat in this package util, they can access. But if dog happen to move into here an animal is in this package then dog cannot access to the sounds of that we can look at an example so this is an example I have package P1 and package P2 and you see it on your test okay. package P1 we have C1, C2 and C3 package P2 we have C4 and C5 and we have the attributes X in C1 and Y X is public we know that public, if we go back public you can access in the same class, you can access in the same package, you can access from a subclass and you can access it in a different package. It's just to the world, right? Everyone can access. So that meaning is X here, C4 can access X, right? C5 can access O.X if you do C1 or you could do C1, correct? because it's public and C2 can access X because in the same package right C3 it's also can access X because it's public now let's look at protected let's revise again protected you can accept in the same class like I said in the same class yes like private attributes right in the same package yes but not in different package. Has to be in the same package, right? In the same subclass, yes, not in different package. Protected, we already know that. Dog in the same package access the protected of the animal. Subclass, right? It has to be in the same package. So let's look at example. Why? Yes. C O dot Y you can access Y in C two because in the same package P one can access Y yes because in the same package C one we extend you know that when we ex access we can either access through the inheritance extends or through the instantiation create object to use right but what happened to P two you cannot access 
Why? Because C1 is not inherited. Right? It's C5 is not inherited from C1. It's only C1. It's just object. But if C4 is inherited from C1, even it's in different package, you still can access because it meeting this requirement. Access form a subclass. Even it is in different package. But protected itself if it's not from the subclass in different package you cannot access it. So this meaning that protected is not only be able to access through the subclass but also even C1 is like in class C2 it, even it's in the same package you still be able to access to protected attributes doesn't have to be subclass if it is in the same package make sense so this key is very important when you see the test and how about default we also have default default mean when you not define public protected private modifiers so default meaning that you can access from the same class access from the same package All right, but not the subclass. So let's look at example. U, no, it's Z, right? Z is default. Only access in the same package. So yes, you can access in the same package. All right? See, either you extend or not. But in different package, you cannot access even you extend because it's not protected. As well as this, it's different package, so default will not be able to access. Lastly, it should be easy. Private, private is only uh, you can access only inside its own class, right? Yes, but the rest is no. Even in the same package, you cannot access to you because you is private, right? As well as different packages. And the method protected is the same principle here, right? When it's protected, if it's subclass, you can access to it, even in different package. But if it's not subclass, you cannot access to it when it is different package. You can access to it the protected method, even it's not the subclass, but in the same package. Okay, same package and subclass, of course, we can access to method. So, subclass cannot weaken the accessibility. A subclass may override a protected method in its superclass and change its visibility to public. So, we can change the accessibility or the modifiers of the method of the superclass by overriding we can change it to public right however a subclass cannot weaken the accessibility of a method defined in the superclass for example if the method is defined as public in the superclass it must be defined as public in a subclass you can always make it more accessible like if it's protected we can override to public to the subclass but the other way around, no. If it's a republic, you cannot change it to private or protected. You cannot weaken the accessibility. The modifiers are used on classes and class members like data and methods. Except that the final modifiers can also be used on a local variables in a method. A final local variable is a constant inside a method. Final modifiers, the final class cannot be extended, like if you want to finalize that. As well as final method cannot be overridden when you do method final. If you put in the variable, it's, it's a constant final static double. And this is the end of the chapter.